Here in the TYT Sports Locked Out Studios, we ran out of time, unfortunately, this morning to talk about maybe, I don't know, the most important game of Sunday, Peyton Manning going back to Indianapolis and facing the Indianapolis Colts. Now, firstly, uh, did you see the, 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 the tribute that they had to Peyton Manning in the beginning? No. Okay. Let me tell you what you missed. You missed a video tribute, Peyton Manning taking off his helmet and going like this. That was it? Yeah, that was it. No, but it, I'm, we're totally downplaying it. I thought that it was a pretty cool no, moment. No, no, I mean, he's not a big, you know, I wouldn't imagine that he, I, I imagine that he would, like, he would find it a little embarrassing and would want it to be over quickly. And I mean that in a complimentary way. Well, it went on for, I'd yeah. say, about a minute straight. So, I mean, it was a cool moment. No, no, it's, it's nice a cool. They, they, got, they, they did the right thing. Sounds like he did the right thing. I, I think you're underselling the game in the sense that it was the biggest game of Sunday. It's the biggest regular season game. Uh, in a while. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the biggest, the regular season game, you know, as the as the NBC Sunday night guys, as Al Michaels and Collinsworth said, you know, you see it on the schedule and you think, oh, well, this is, this is big. big. And it's even bigger than it would have been last year because Manning has fully established himself somewhere else now. Yeah. Whereas last year in Luck's rookie year, yeah, it, it, it almost would have felt like it was too soon. Now, now it feels it feels right. It, it feels schedule, perfect, schedule, actually. Schedule worked out nicely. Yeah. So Andrew Luck had a fantastic game, and uh, did not commit a turnover. Did Andrew Luck? However, in the fourth quarter, what we were talking about before we went on, you know, th there was one tweet. I don't remember exactly from who who said, "Oh, Peyton just pulled an Eli and threw it up in nowhere." No, a Colts defensive lineman when the Broncos were down uh, six at the time. Uh, Broncos defensive lineman, it was not Robert Mathis, who had a fantastic game, by the way. Uh, it was a Colts defensive lineman, goes around the end, gets a hand on uh, uh, Peyton Manning's throwing arm, his right arm, ball pops up in the air, and the Iowa Hawkeye product, Pat Angerer, picks it off. It was easy. You could have caught it, by the way. It, it was like toilet paper up in the air. And yeah. so basically what happened was uh, the Colts kick a field goal, See? Proving it. Colts kick a field goal, 39 nothing, and then the, the, the Broncos, excuse me, 39-30. Broncos try to go down the field as quick as possible, and they kick a quick field goal. Onside kick does not well, go in their favor. You know, you're, you're selling short what was amazing about that drive, because when the Colts went up 39-30 after the turnover in the field goal, they put them up two scores. And the Colts, of course, had led that game 33-17, 36-17, 33-14, 36 So the Broncos come back. And, and the Ronnie and, Hillman fumble. Is right. But, like, it wasn't just that. I mean, the Colt, the, the Broncos started that drive at, like, their 15-yard uh, line. They took a sack on first down, an incomplete pass. And, and just when you think, like, it's third and 13 from the eight and and they're down nine points and there's five minutes to play, you just saw a Peyton Manning drive that was, I mean, that pass to Welker, oh. I mean, it didn't even look like Two that. Two great catches on that drive from Wes Welker. Two, but that first one was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, because he ran in downfield, he turned, and when he turned, like, the ball was where your head is, yeah. except it's Wes Welker, so he's, like, here. <laughs> Right, and then he caught it. I mean, it was a little, it was a little David, it was a mini David Tyrell. He caught that ball on Tyree. his Tyree. Tyree. He David that, Tyrell and David Tyree combining guys. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a little David Tyree. He he caught that ball on his head, and it was just such a great catch, so quick. Uh, and then he did make it. I think they went to him three times on that drive. Yeah. And then they get the ball down to the three yard line or wherever it was. With a and chance. no, Sean Moreno is not in the game. No, Sean Moreno had 15 carries, 40 yards, but he had a one yard touchdown. He's had a nose for the end zone all year. Moreno yes. has. Yes. So I don't, I don't know whether Moreno was hurting or something, but Hillman came in. Hillman had, at that point, three carries, I think, for 24 yards, so he'd run the ball well in that limited action. But he fumbled. And I, I uh, it's, you know, you can't, you don't think a guy's going to fumble. I would have had Moreno in that game, but John Fox is not an idiot. I imagine there was some reason for that. Sure. Um, but I'd be interested in what it was. Uh, so, but that drive was amazing because that would have put him in with about three minutes to play in the game. Uh, with all three timeouts. They didn't need an onside kick. They would have kicked away uh, and had a chance to stop him and get the ball back and only needed a field goal. And I honestly, just the way that game had gone, of course the Colts could have picked up two first downs on that drive, the ensuing drive, and made it moot. But you got the feeling that if they scored there with three minutes to play to cut it to 39-37, you could see it. Yeah. The Broncos were going to win that game 40-39 to on a 42-yard yeah. field goal on the last play of the game. That's just what it felt like. Uh, and that fumble changed everything. And of course, on the Colts' last, <laughs> and then that that nonsense penalty on the last drive, like the Colts are shut down again. It was going to be fourth down inside the five-yard line, and the late hit, which I guess the guy gave him a little chest bump, 
It was it was miniature. But we I can't mean, tell, you know, replay just doesn't sell it hard enough. But luck, I mean, oh, it's like he was shot. Yeah. You know, uh, it was I a Paul Pierce like flop. I hate to see that flop because, uh, but I get instinct takes over. You get hit, you're a quarterback. You know to sell it. It worked. It seemed like that one could have gone either way. It certainly isn't. Here's what it wasn't when we when the NFL designed the rules to protect quarterbacks. It wasn't for that. Sure. Um, so it was frustrating. Uh, and that cost the Broncos a significant amount of time and timeouts uh, in getting the ball back. They would have gotten the ball back a lot sooner, and maybe they scored the touchdown first, which would have made everything a little easier after an onside kick.